Alright, so this video is going to be about changing the model that I made in my previous video so it can actually be animated, open or shut according to your needs. So let's just get going and actually see how it's done. Alright, so let's actually begin. The first thing I want to do is I want to fix the model that I made in my previous video. It is quite decent if you're only going to be working with stationary static models. But if I want to animate this, I don't want there be to be like any fighting going on between the different faces. So I'm just going to delete that face straight up. Next up, what I want to do is I do want to just quickly separate these by loose parts and just get rid of the do up here because one second. Yeah, we can get rid of this array modifier as well. Actually, that can stay over there. Okay, so the reason I got rid of both of these is because I'm going to make another drawer and then just array it back up. So let's just move it, say, two units in this direction. Select all of this and extrude it, say, this much. I believe that much should be fine. Let's just move it slightly in. Okay. Now, the normals are all messed up, so just select them all and flip them. You can do shift n to flip the more flip the normals all right next up just select both of these and delete these faces uh the reason this is showing up like this is because i have back face calling on which is a good idea because it genuinely just tells you okay these more normals are actually messed up you should probably fix them all right so let's just add a solidify modifier over here really quick that will fix everything and now we can move it back to two units. So just negative two over here. So next up, I want there to be an array modifier over here. And I'm going to do op object offset the exact same way I did it for this handle. But the reason it's messed up like this is because this object's center is not, you know, in line with this array. So Basically, if I remember correctly, we move the center over here. So just select that, move your cursor to it, come outside and move this object origin to 3D cursor. If you don't have this option in your quick favorites, you can come over here to object, set origin and origin to 3D cursor from over here. Next up, you can just re-enable the array modifier and increase the count to three to actually get what you need. Now, um, there is something wrong over here and i am kind of confused about why this is happening oh wait okay 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 so this is happening because this thing's origin isn't on that bit so just select this and do the same thing over here and that should fix it so now you can apply both of these array modifiers and let me just quickly do that i'm not going to apply the solidify modifiers just in case you want to change the thickness of your drawers or something so let's just Go into edit mode, select all, separate by loose parts. Do the same to the handles. Go into edit mode, separate by loose parts. And there we go. Now we do need to, you know, parent these again. Parent. Parent and parent. All right. So what that does is it basically gave us these drawers. And so long as you don't take them out of the actual cabinet, nothing should go wrong. Actually, even right now, I yeah, the render mode should be fine. So you're, you're all safe. And let's just take it back right now. Okay, so something else that's a good idea to do is to just control A and you can do all transforms to deltas as well. That basically makes it so the zero position for this object is over here like at this origin this bit okay and hmm what else can we do oh yeah we can basically lock the y and z coordinates so whenever you press g it will only move in this direction and nothing else you can do the same for all of the drawers if you want to you can apply the deltas if you want to but yeah that is pretty much it now i am going to quickly animate this and I'm not going to bore you with the details, so it's just going to be a time lapse. Thanks for watching and goodbye.